More grace, everybody. More grace. My name is Agbomare Saturday. It happens before we start uh, this uh, God of Solution. So I was having some strange dream. And I called that this is what I am passing through. Then daddy asked me that very day. I asked him, I said, uh, how am I going to see him? He said, I should come to new site. Then of which I went there. He, he asked me to go to the altar and pray. So I prayed, then we started doing some job there. We walked there. So when he came back from somewhere, we, I and some boys, we, we were pegging some uh, flag. So when he came back, he said, Mr. Agbonwari, your God, um, it is over. I said, Amen. So he started laughing. So then I went. Then during that dream, I discovered some sign that I am going to, I was, that is, the enemy is planning, they were planning to take away my job. So I started praying. Even during that prayer, the first day, the second day, one of the sign, cowboy, BBC book cowboy, would just come to me. Why even in crusade? But at that day, we went to deliverance and uh, solution ground. That thing disappeared. I could not find it again. If you are opportune to go through that deliverance and solution ground, Forget about home problem, generational cause. Forget about whatever that troubles you. It's over and it's expired. When it is handled by God, it is handled forever. Okay, let's hear you. Thank you. After the, the, the services, so I went to my office. Somebody now, my organ now, uh, hand over a truck for me, say I should go and use it. Say so, okay, and before then, some of our fleet managers they came from Lagos. They were tell, advising the old drivers that the rate of uh, uh, shortage is too much that will, they will limit it. So okay, so while they were loading my truck, something just tell me to check what they were putting inside my truck. So I just and I have not done anything like that before, because there are people that used to do that work. They call them mashers. So when I got there, I just discovered that all the pallets that they were loading me all short. So before I lived there, I discovered about seven cases and uh, up to eight, but seven and some, seven cases. So I called my managers, they witnessed it and some of the ASCO securities and all that thing. Then I left. Then I parked at my junction, at a pipeline junction. Believe me, brothers and sisters, yes, yesterday night, around 11 o'clock, I just woke up. I called my motorboy. I said, where are you? He refused to pick my car. I called him twice. The third one, the four, off. So I just told my wife, I said, let me go to where I park my truck. Around 11 in the night. Getting there, not quite three minutes, a car just drove from my back. A, a little distance away from my truck. They park about a, a five, six boys. They came out of the car. They were walking towards me. I was with the matches. But when I see that, the situation, I was just, they have to drop my matches. Then they came to me. They greet me. I replied. So before I knew it, one just point gone at my side. He said, I should look this side. So when I look, it was gone. Ah. I said, what? He said, uh, where is the money? I said, I don't have any money. And before I left home that very night, the trousers I wear in the morning, I used this uh, mantle, this very one in my hand, to wrap my driving license. It was with me in my pocket. So when I lie down, they start bruising me. They call my boy. They were just doing all this kind of, they were beating my boy. So I was begging them. When they put hand in my pocket, they remove this mantle. So you just suddenly look at it. He threw away it. Then my driving license fell along with it. So I begin to pray. I say, God, intervene. God, intervene. So I was just calling God of divine grace. God of divine grace, where are you? Where are you? I don't have anybody to rescue me. So the whole place were so calm and they just feel as if they are my friend. They were just operating with strong confidence. Ah! So there was nothing I could do. I, I was on the ground praying. They now say, since I don't have money, 
that uh, what is inside my truck. I told them this is the content I have in my truck. They said my boy should climb it and begin to offload those things. Before you know, they said they are going to carry 10. They open it, they begin to offload the, 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 the goods in my possession. They, they brought 10 cases down, and each case is about uh, 3,700. So, while I was praying on the ground, a jeep just came out from the back. The light of the jeep was so shiny. So, they were hiding at the back of my truck, and I used that uh, opportunity to run. So, they begin to shout, Tifo, 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 Tifo. That one had disguised them. All of them ran away. They succeeded taking one of my crates. This thing would have landed me, my enemy in jail. Nobody would have believed what happened. I don't know what would have happened if I did not come there that night. If we were to be, they just meet my little boy. Me would have not believed this morning. So I just come to thank God. Nothing do me. Nothing happened. They only go away with one credit. That, that is not my problem. Yes, thank you. I just do you know what? Sometimes when you don't make the sacrifice you are supposed to make, God will allow it to happen by force. Life is all about sacrifice. The advice I have is that, uh, my brothers and sisters, whatever you have here, as in these uh, materials, be using it because right from that uh, um, God of Solution. So all these uh, materials He asks us to use, I have been using them. I have never failed, and I believe that is why. They, they could not do anything. So Thank you. That's all. It is well with you. We give thanks to God for what God has done for you. We bless the name of the Lord. The grace of God will sustain your victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.